Right then, now, the whole point of this game is going to be the ball drops from the top. If I whack it with my hand when I've switched the video back on, the ball will bounce up again. It's like a keepy-uppy type game. So I want to show you how to do this. Well, no, I'm going to set you a little task to do, but I want to show you a slight problem first of all, which is going to help you with the solution. Just trust me, all right? Now, what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to grab uh, over here from the control block something called an if block. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this one. This is completely the wrong one, by the way, but it's got if key space is present. Here, you can choose any of the keys on your keyboard. I'm going to stay with the space key. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that if, that's pressed, if I press the space key, the ball is going to go up and um, back up the screen. So what I would do, just using the same block here in motion there, which is the old uh, change oh, Y by, I'm going to get X for a moment there, I'm going to make that 100. Now this is wrong. Well, it's going to work, sort of, but watch what happens. I'm going to put that into here. So now what's going to happen is my ball will go to the top of the screen, reduce its size, and it will start to fall. But if I press the space key, it will jump up by 100. And let me show you that happening. Space. There we go. Space. Now, you'll also notice that I've got to kind of tap it to make it do 100. If I hold it down, it just jumps straight to the top. But there we go. The whole point being is this. It was a big jump. Here's a slightly smoother way of doing it. Instead of changing y by 100, I'm going to change y by 10. But in control, I'm going to repeat that 10 times. Now, if I put that in there, and I'm going to try and tell, oh, let's try that. Let's jump on the ball over there. I thought, actually, let's just um, do that. I'm going to tap the space key from the bottom. Watch the ball. You see how the motion of it going up was sort of smoother than previously. Rather than jumping up 100 places, it's actually jumping 10 at a time. And the motion of it is a little bit easier on the eye. So let's stop that for a moment. Now, my problem is I don't want this to happen when the space key is pressed. Now, what I need to do is on this stage at the moment, whoops, um, no, actually what I'm talking about, I need to bring the old video transparency back in. So I'm going to set the transparency back to zero and let's run that there. So I'm back in the game. There we go. There's me again. Now, the whole point being is that if I do this with my hand, if I do this with my hand on the ball, the ball should go up. Okay, uh, that's that's the point of the game. The whole point: of the ball should be dropping from over the screen. And if I go, Ooh, if I hit the ball with my hand or flick it up like that, the ball should go back up the screen. So we're going to lose that here. Now, how can we sense motion on the video camera here? How can we sense my hand is moving? Well, the answer is. In video sensing, we have this option here. Video motion on sprite. Mm, it says on sprite. Video motion on sprite. Well, that's interesting. I thought it would have given the option for ball there, but I suppose it doesn't make any difference, really. I want to say, if the video motion on the sprite is bigger than... Well, I don't know. Look, up here it says, when video motion is greater than 10, that would do something. So, I'm going to need this greater than option. By default, that says 50. So, this is your task now. Is that, I want you to set this up. So, when you put everything back together, and it's quite a simple exercise, really. You just put that in there, put that in there. But, is 50 the right number? I need you to experiment with numbers so that, if I wave my hand, or flick my hand like that, the ball goes back up the screen. But, do I need to do it a lot? I mean, is there a, how much video motion is there? Or, or will a gentle, mm, like that, do the job? I don't know. I don't know, is that going to be fast enough to do that? Or is it going to be, pew, it's going to be, pew, 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 it's lots of balls on the screen, I'm going to flick my hands all over the place. I don't know. 
why don't you experiment and see what happens? And if you can't get it to work, there's a solution video coming up in a second as well.